Hey there demo fans, so welcome back. Uh, I know it's been a while, I, I took a bit of a sabbatical, went sailing, uh, did a bunch of stuff, uh, but hopefully I'm back making a few more uh, new videos for you. Uh, so today we're gonna be talking about the truth. Um, this is a, a pretty common theme in the data realm where people say there isn't a single source of the truth, everybody's got different versions of the truth, all of that kind of stuff. Um, and while this sounds good and it kind of, um, it often justifies a project and, and all of those good things and kind of upgrades uh, to the system. The The actual truth behind it is that uh, that there are multiple versions of the truth. It's as simple as that. Um, and trying to force everything into a single view of the world doesn't necessarily help you all the time. Sometimes it can be quite harmful to uh, to your platform, to your environment, to your users. Uh, to try and force them down a route of there is only one um, version of the world. And and today I'm going to talk you through that kind of stuff um, and hopefully show you um, an example that, that very easily shows this concept um, playing through uh, in, in a sales scenario, so hopefully everybody understands it. Um, although it is kind of industry specific, it also translates really well because everybody has been shopping. Most people have returned something. So um, with that, we'll get into it. Um, it's a chalk and talk session. So um, as, as in all of these, there's no demo here today. If you're expecting demos, then then uh, come back later. There's a playlist for the demos. There's a se separate playlist for chalk and talks. But hopefully this is interesting enough to uh, to most of the audience. Um, so the scenario that we're gonna gonna go through is is a pretty simple one. Um, we've got our shopper, let's call him Bob, uh, and Bob needs an Xbox. So he goes uh, online to a shop and he buys an Xbox. And this is day one. So uh, Bob orders the Xbox online, and a couple of things happen here. Firstly, the uh, sales system records the sale. So we take some money from Bob, we say, yep, we've sold an Xbox, brilliant. Um, and then the stock system will reserve an Xbox so that we can send him one. Uh, we know that we've got it in stock. Bob could see on the website that we had stock, uh, but we don't want to sell that Xbox to two different people. So we're going to reserve that. Um, the following day, we will actually ship that... Um, that uh, Xbox out to Bob. So we will put it in a lorry. The stock system uh, will then actually decrement the amount of stock that we've got. So we know that we've sent one out. It's no longer in the warehouse. All good uh, so far. This is pretty straightforward uh, retail kind of stuff. So then uh, on day three, Bob gets his Xbox and he is overjoyed because Xboxes are cool. Um, but he opens it and there's something wrong with the Xbox or he just changes his mind or something like that. Um, so Bob decides to return the Xbox uh, to the shop. Um, so goes back online and says, I'd like to return this. So a couple of things then happen. Immediately, um, we issue him with a return statement so he can post it back. Um, and we also nullify the sales. So we have to give Bob his money back. Um, and we have to to accept that we didn't make that sale. Uh, it's as if it never happened. So um, at the same time, Bob will send back the goods. Sorry about my drawing. Um, and this then means that we haven't made a sale, but we also don't have the Xbox in stock, so we're not able to sell one. Um, and that's quite important because when you're trying to reconcile all of this in your data platform, there isn't a way to reconcile the fact that we don't have an Xbox and we haven't sold an Xbox. Um, there's no real way to differentiate between that and somebody stole an Xbox from us uh, in terms of data. And so it's quite important to understand this concept that there are different versions of the truth depending on what you would like to see. Um, so eventually the Xbox gets back to us um, in the shop. Do we immediately put that back into stock? No, uh, because it's been opened or it might be faulty or whatever. And in this instance, we inspect it and find actually it is faulty. There was something wrong with it. Um, and therefore we're gonna have to get a, a replacement from the manufacturer 
um, and, and just swap that out. So that will then go back to the Microsoft warehouse. Terrible version of, of the logo. Um, and then Microsoft will send a new Xbox. At that point, we can actually add that Xbox to the stock to say we can now sell uh, another unit. Um, so all through that is pretty straightforward um, fundamental thing. We've only talked about two systems really, the, the stock system and the sales system. In reality, there are a bunch of other systems. So there'll be logistics and tracking and all of those kinds of things. And we'll want to ingest the data from those. Uh, and I'm, I'm planning to talk about data ingestion in an upcoming video and uh, some of the sort of time that's getting wasted um, in, in that arena. Um, but for now, the, the fundamental question, if I work in sales or if I work in um, finance, what I want to know is, did I make a sale? On day one, yes, I made a sale. Day two, no. Um, or in fact, day two, we were shipping, so yes, we'd made a sale. Day three, we had not made a sale. Um, if I work in marketing and I want to know, can I sell more of these? Uh, the important question is, was there an Xbox in stock for somebody to buy? Um, and on day one, yes, there was. And let's, for the sake of argument, imagine that there was only one Xbox in stock. I can sell one Xbox. So if I run a marketing campaign and I sell one, that's 100% success. If I have 50 in stock, that is slightly successful, but it could have just been a fluke. Somebody could have just bought an Xbox. If I sold 30 of them, that's a quite successful campaign. Uh, and marketing can then show that, that that there was an impact of the actions that were being taken. Maybe we were advertising, maybe we're running a discount promotion, any of those kinds of things. Um, and we can measure that success because we know they were available to buy to all of the people that were recipients of th that campaign. Um, on day three, though, we've sold the Xbox, we've cancelled the transaction. So if I was to get a single version of the truth, I've made no sales and I don't have an Xbox in stock and I'm not able to sell one, how would I explain that in terms of reporting? So if I'm trying to do a marketing report, how many do I have in stock? Well, none. How many have I sold? None. How many have I bought? One. Those things don't add up. That doesn't make sense. There's no world in which those things make sense as facts on their own. And so it's much more important to have all of the facts available within your data ecosystem, but to allow different user groups to see different pictures of the truth. Um, so individually, all of these things are true, but the truth to me in marketing is I'm not able to sell more Xboxes. Um, even though the stock system might show that I've actually received one back um, at the point when it comes back into the shop, but I'm not able to sell it because it's not in a sellable state. Uh, so I have to wait all the way through that process until I can sell it again. Um, if I work in sales, I have sold one and I get a bonus. Brilliant. Um, but then when that comes back, do I get a bonus? Because the sale did happen and then the sale was kind of cancelled, but it definitely still did happen. Uh, so we need to know, do I want the truth that a sale was made or do I want the truth that the sale wasn't made? Or do I want both of those things and record the sale and the return? And then I can measure how many returns we're getting as a proportion of the sales and all of those good things. Uh, but to someone in finance, they don't care. Um, if, if you're talking about taxes, uh, how much tax does the company owe? What is our bottom line profit for the year? It doesn't matter how many returns we had. What matters is what the total profit of everything we sold and it stayed sold uh, ended up being. Um, and that's why it's important to have as many versions of the truth as you actually need. Fundamentally, the facts need to be there, the timeline of the things that have happened. Uh, but if you think that you can build that into a single view of the entire universe, then you're trying to build something that cannot exist. Uh, so do accept that you can have different versions of the truth. Do accept that different uh, reports and different uh, views of this data are going to look different. So somebody might see more sales than somebody else. That doesn't mean that one of them is wrong. It means that that person is viewing the data that's important to them. Um, and it's up to the business to, to decide what they actually need and want to see at any given moment. And it's down to the data guys uh, and girls in the back room to make that happen, make the data available. So either we're going to create 
10 different reports with different versions of the truth, or we're going to present all of the facts and let people find their own truth within that. Um, and people are actually pretty resourceful. They know their own jobs. So you'd be surprised how effective that can actually be just trusting the users to, um, to come out with their own information. Um, so hopefully you found that interesting. Hopefully that's explained a thing or two about the truth. Um, and, uh, I will, as I said, be bringing another video soon with uh, some talk about data ingestion. I've got a few videos lined up um, explaining a few things, a lot about cost management and that kind of stuff. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you enjoy the videos. This just allows me to see what you're enjoying with the like button. And it also allows you to vote for what you would like to see more of. And with the subscription button, all it does is it, it shows the videos up in your feed so that you don't have to come and find the videos uh, manually. So thanks very much and I'll see you next time.